Hey gangsters, it's just me, Leslie Singh, aka Get a Mama. Anyway, it's dinner time again. Can you believe it's dinner time again? Well, it's dinner time. And, um, I haven't really had much to eat today. This morning I went to go pay bills and I went to McDonald's and I had two of the little sausage egg burritos. And the whole idea was we were going to get some hamburgers and bring home and some shamrock milkshakes but they informed us that they didn't have the shamrock milkshakes but the other mcdonald's does and then they informed us that they didn't have hamburgers yet because it was 9 54 not 10 o'clock and we were in the drive through anyway so here's what i got tonight i have salad the salad's really simple don't have a lot of stuff in it because I couldn't go grocery shopping today because my truck, the battery was stupid. As a matter of fact, when we were eating in the parking lot of McDonald's, we turned the truck off and then it wouldn't turn on. So it needed to jump. Anyway, I just got romaine lettuce, a little bit of um, ranch, a little bit of sriracha, some garlic, and of course my tomatoes. And right here is... Um, baked beans from last night I had just a little tiny spoon of uh, sog it's Indian um, food at spinach I don't necessarily like spinach but I don't know well this ain't too bad anyhow Today's been a very cold, windy, damp day in Reno, Nevada. We have a blizzard warning. But there's no blizzard. Well, it's up there on I-80, going towards Sacramento. Cheers. And we definitely got our milk. So anyway... We're all sitting down here waiting for the storm to happen. They claim it's going to happen by 8 o'clock in the morning. We'll see though. And I'm worried about my truck because I don't know if the terminals just need cleans or it needs a new battery or what it does, but I had to have my big son the one that has a YouTube channel on here, Clifford Perry, is his YouTube channel. I had to have him come rescue us and give us a jump. He was on his way to work, and I'm thinking, oh, my God, because the, the truck was totally dead. The windows wouldn't even roll up, and I'm like, are you kidding me? In this neighborhood, I can't, I can't leave the windows down in McDonald's parking lot. I won't have anything else strip strip everything out of it if I do that. So long story short, he gave me a jump and came home. I still had some more outside things to do, but I couldn't get them done. But I got the rent paid, all the utilities paid, cell phones paid, insurance paid. I mean, what didn't I pay today? Now I'm broke. Well, not really broke, but I'm broke. I have to be very conservative this month. Because lately, I've been using my credit cards to live on because I've been broke paying bills because the utilities are so high. So then I run to Walmart and get food and supplies on the credit cards. But my credit cards are kind of like up there, kind of high. So I'm, I need to lay off those credit cards. I really do. <laughs> so the thing is, if I don't have money for it, I'm not going to use a credit card to get it. 
and I'm going to have to make my list for Walmart and the other grocery store to make sure that I get what I need, not what I want, but what we need for here. It's hard buying groceries for my tribe because when I buy just my kind of food, but I don't want it. But if I buy their kind of food, then they want my food. Which makes things difficult because, oh, I'll eat salad, that's what they say. And then a big old bag of lettuce goes brown. So it gets really confusing to me. Oh, you know, I have leftover corn from last night. I should put some corn on my salad. If you guys see my video last night, I start coughing in the end because I had a big old blob of pepper on my last bite. And for whatever reason, it got stuck on the back of my throat. And I went, <coughs> That's what made me cough last night in the video. So, what's up with you guys, or what they would say in the hood, let's crack a lacking. Did you get your bills paid today? Was it your payday? Did you get to go out to eat? I already put my request in for the weekend. I told my big son because he drives us to go do our stuff on the weekend. I told him, I want pizza. Five dollar Little Caesars pizza from McDonald's. That's what I told him. Some of you are probably cringing at that, but... I don't get that. Whoops. Don't want to dump my plate and give you guys a thrill. I don't get that that much. The rest of the family goes out to eat and I really don't get nothing. I know he's going to say he wants raising cane, so that's a chicken finger place. That's probably what he'll say. So if he says that... I'm just going to say, well, I'll get a drink in here and on the way home, let's hit McDonald's drive through so that I can get me a McDouble and a Shamrock milkshake. But see, now this is iffy on the Shamrock milkshake because that's like eating like 20 candy bars in one cup. And this diet thing's getting really hard. Have you heard some belching in the background? That was Mukbang Baby. She's drinking her bottle and belching and being silly over there. She's beating up her mommy too. Feed it. Oh, she's feeding her mommy. What is she feeding you? She's feeding her mommy these, we call them puffs. They're little puffy cereal type of things for babies. 
And if you don't open your mouth, she makes you eat it. Yeah, and if you don't open your mouth, she'll force you to eat it. You eat it. She's got these like little fingers. We call them her hors d'oeuvre fingers. And she goes like this. And she picks stuff up. And then she'll go here and shove it in your mouth. Tonight she was moving um, her high chair everywhere. And it's a wooden high chair, just like, you know, the kind they have at the restaurant. She's got a wooden high chair like that. And moving the chairs around at the table here where I'm sitting at. She's strong. I know these chairs probably weigh a little bit more than she does. She's like moving them everywhere. And we're like, wow. I was trying to clean out the fridge tonight. And she was doing her thing, rearranging furniture. <laughs> Are you going to eat it and not feed it to mommy? <laughs> I also have to get coffee creamer from Walmart. I like that chocolate coffee creamer. It's really good. It's like a great value Walmart brand. When I was cleaning out the fridge. I had to throw away my vanilla Walmart creamer because there's like, I don't know, like this much. It's like a, I don't know, it seems like it's a half a gallon. It's like a cardboard container. And I looked out for the date. And it said February 20th. I'm like, holy crap. I just drank some of that coffee creamer yesterday. It's probably still good. It didn't taste bad, but just because the date said it was expired, I had to throw it away. I bought that because I didn't know if I would get hooked on that chocolate coffee cream or not, but I'm hooked on it, so. And I don't like hazelnut. So what's you guys' favorite coffee creamer? And for my favorite coffee is, I know you guys are going to cringe when I say this. I like instant coffee. I like instant decaffeinated Folgers coffee. That's what I drink. I really enjoy it. Because I drink Diet Mountain Dew with all those um, all that caffeine in it. And if I drink regular coffee, I get too wired. So... I have to, you know, drink the decaf, and it's really good. But I know some of you guys out there, you're probably coffee experts. I remember when my grandma used to drink Sanka, and her favorite brand was Taster's Choice. I'm like, I don't like those. I mean, those are different. I don't like those. Because I tried those. Within the last five years, and I'm like, no. I'm just going to stick to the Folgers. I see a lot of you have the Keurigs. But I would think that for my family, because there's like five of us in the house, I think we would go through those little cups too fast. So my big son gets um, Dunkin' Donut Donut Shop coffee. He gets that kind. And just a regular coffee, mate. Creamer. Okay, so what can I have for dessert? Nothing.
nothing. Ah, uh, okay. Well, as usual, I finished my plate and I'm still hungry. And I'm not going to have anything more, I promise that. No more for me. And I'm really glad that you joined me. Hope you join me again. And I think tomorrow I might do a scary story, but I have to really go back in my um, time zone here. Because I have like a lot of scary stories. But I just got to figure out which one to tell you guys. Or I'll tell you something freaky for Friday. Freaky Friday or a scary story. So I will see you guys next month. Bang! Bye, y'all.